Hello world and my YouTubers! Uh, we are in the countryside, in Belarusian countryside, on the south of Belarus, in the village Hoyansk. We continue our adventures. And I'm planning to show you what we do here in Turov and close by near Pripetsky Park. And it's morning time. Oh, my little runner. Morning runner is here. How are you doing, girl? How are you doing? We are going to grab some eggs at our neighbor here. My friend Nastasia is coming with us. I love our villages for that fact that no one cares uh, how you look like. And uh, I prefer to be dressed in a very cozy, uncomfortable clothes. So I enjoy this time here. So this Hlayensk village is not uh, small, it's quite big, I don't know, maybe 50 houses and uh, they look not ruined, people live here, very close to National Park Pripetsky and I think that to Ukrainian border it will be something like 20 kilometers from this place. So we didn't get uh, any eggs. And uh, we'll check out uh, the local uh, kind of supermarket or grocery store. Let's see what we can find there for our breakfast. So here is a bread delivery to the local grocery. Well, in such kind of rural grocery stores you can find only the most necessary products, such as bread, dairy products, meat, various cereals, canned food, frozen meat. All people who live today in Hoyansk, they are pensioners. As far as their pension is something like 300 Belarusian rubles, which equals 100 US dollars. It's not a lot, as you can see. So our pensioners, they have very modest uh, lifestyle and they try to buy only cheap products in such grocery stores our place, our farmstead, but uh, I would definitely describe this uh, place as a hotel, rural hotel or kind of a hostel. It's so interesting that uh, this, I will show you from this corner, that this is a renovated building, but long ago it was a, a local school. And can you imagine that uh, this owner, the girl, Nastasia, who opened this um, hotel, she bought this uh, building three years ago at our state auction for one base unit. It means the price for that uh, former school was uh, something like 30 Belarusian rubles, or which now equal... Uh, ten dollars and then she made it as a hostel and we live here for two days for two nights and i will show you a little bit what we have inside let's check it out people gather in this hall for 
breakfast lunch dinner there is the biggest stove in palesia and all food is cooked uh, only in this stove you remember that the warmest place in a rural house always was <laughs> exactly the stove and people they not only laid and relaxing over there but uh, usually the elderly old babushkas and dedushkas they it was their place for living in a small rural house but uh, in this hospitable place uh, all the visitors they have this opportunity to try this uh, atmosphere of living in the countryside. So we have breakfast with our girls. It's a morning time. We didn't uh, grab uh, any eggs with Anastasia. <laughs> so we have uh, what we have for our breakfast. Exactly the food we cooked yesterday. You remember it was uh, a delicious cabbage pie. By the way, the the yummiest which I tried. We согласны, что это самый вкусный пирог? it's so yummy. So now you know if you come to Belarus, you know where to go to try this yummy pie. We have ricotta. It is exactly ricotta, which is made here in Turov. And we can try different type of cheese produced here. I think that uh, today we're going to have uh, lunch in this place. But now we're uh, almost off to our new adventures of this day. <laughs> So my dears, uh, we're here in this uh, hostel <laughs> in Palesia area and it's a nice place to stay if you have a uh, quite active journey, one night, two nights uh, in this uh, nicely decorated place. So let's check out uh, one room. Here is a bed for two people. All the decorations are quite simple, but nice. A wardrobe over there, like babushka style. And let's see the table, the place where you can dine. And there is With a staircase to the second level. Let's check out what is there. Uh huh. You can switch on the light. It's a nice place for kids, especially, but uh, I would uh, also like to stay here. And the type of uh, this uh, place, which can be used for two or for one person, that the, a mattress here is made of hay. So it's a natural style, something which is quite unique for the place, uh, for an ordinary hotel or hostel. <laughs> oh, and I see the first visitor <laughs> of this place. <laughs> Да? Ты здесь будешь жить? Да? Да? Пошли. <laughs> nice place. Um, see a toilet. And simple shower. Так, simple shower. Let's check the prices. Let's check the prices. What we have? We have a uh, standard room and uh, 50 rubles. Uh, for one night, it means that something like mm, not twenty dollars, but maybe seventeen or fifteen dollars. And the most expensive one, the price for that, ninety Belarusian rubles. Let's check another room. So Angelina is saying that this is the best, <laughs> the best room with. Uh, uh, tiny terrace. I think that uh, this is exactly the room with the price uh, 90 Belarusian rubles. Let's have a look at this. Wow. Wonderful. Very stylish. <laughs> Very stylish. If you need to uh, sew something, you can do it over there. Wow. What's there? So you can put your uh, clothes here. <laughs> У нас у бабушки такой в Пинске, ты знаешь, Ангелинка? Да, 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 мы можем взять. Так, let's see. Let's see what the terrace was. Все. Are you staying here, Angelina? Maybe, yes. 
maybe yes okay <laughs> same type like on the second level there is a place for kids and for adults as well of course uh, everything is very simple here but nevertheless you can really feel this uh, countryside atmosphere and uh, can stay close to nature but to have uh, all the facilities like uh, toilet shower don't forget to give your likes to share my videos visiting unbeaten paths is always the best way to discover a new country and especially in belarus if you go to countryside area you can understand and feel our country better we continue our journey we discover palesia region and uh, now we're gonna have a trip in uh, the local swamps to discover it because palesia is known for for these uh, swamps and uh, it's gonna be challenging join us walks in swamps or a raised box in belarus is a special kind of ecological and educational tourism as well as a relaxing one it becomes more and more popular every year once you are here it's better to take a local guide we have our olga who is a national park research assistant she shares with us an interesting information about local fauna and flora do you know about uh, belarusian red gold it is cranberry which is the main eatable berry in swampy areas and during the harvest season these swamps fill up with the locals who pick the cranberries and sell them to the markets cranberry is a natural antibiotic so we make hot cranberry juices when we have health issues and want to recover quite fast and especially it's so helpful during covid time during the spring season the swamps are the meeting points of the cranes who dance here to attract a partner for creation a couple and you can come here to watch them as well as to see many other birds and animals in their natural habitat in general it's a complete disconnect from social networks and daily hustles very positive effect for our nerve system don't you think so it's awesome to come to this place uh, amazing to be close to this uh, nature this wild nature to discover new places and uh, to spend one day here it's something uh, very re relaxing and what can i say when i was in the city i was so stressed during this uh, last month and uh, one of the reasons when i why i came here with my friends was uh, to recover uh, from uh, emotional uh, state a very difficult emotional state you know what i'm talking about and uh, it's a perfect gift for ourselves and a kind of a therapy to be here because you think only of this moment and I definitely recommend everybody to come to such places and hopefully that in the nearest future it won't be just a virtual journey for you and maybe one day will come and you will be in belarus who knows and uh, it would be a pleasure for me to bring you to such a wonderful place uh, in palesia southern area of belarus uh, so stay tuned guys uh, stay with me stay on the channel and uh, see you on the roads